So we're back. Ah. Um. Yeah. So the chest should be better now. I just restarted the thing. Delay test. Well, happy. Oh no. I think it's a. Uh... Maybe not. Did we do a programming? Okay, we need uh, a widget was the first one. Now we need to do also line widget, and uh, we need to be referred to because you mixed it up. That was expected, though. It should be fine in the other places. So, line widget. TM language Yeah, I believe this should be fine I just realized my mistake No, 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 we can fix this. We just gotta flip this around. Fine. We fine. No. I wanna refer to buffer. And uh, do this. Uh, well, basically. That too. Yeah, actually, this is fine. Flip the order, but that's fine. Now, so um, Lumi still hasn't responded. Is it like still <laughs> that slow? Is it even worse? <laughs> or Okay, we have everything now. So this should compile everything, presumably. Except for the parts where we need to have the JSM stuff. And then we're gonna do the swap thing. Right, here. We can just want to swap it out. We'll be fine. Oh, it's all these things too. Hmm. Well, you, actually, we can just... Um, let's start client.
So all these clients, they uh, they depend on GSM for reasons. Um, and I'm thinking like a, a good way of getting rid of the dependency. And the reason it depends on GSM is because I have the refresh support thing. But uh, I think I can get rid of that. Um, Servant reflex. This thing. We just make this a pre render too. This is the bad one. I need to get rid of this. Reload on error. I should clone my own thing then. Oh, get rid of the constraint and replace it by a better constraint. And assess it out. Seems kind of uh, aggressive to do it like this, but uh, it will get rid of all the, the uh, monogsm dependencies for all the requests we're making. I think. I mean, nobody care about this stuff either, right? Just stop it out. Re render. So, in case of MA, which is uh, the static context, we do nothing. And in case of this pre render client constraint, we have. Here's GGS dump space. You have like a money chaser.
pre-render base constraint. <laughs> what? <laughs> SJS context. That's one. SJS context. Mono JSM, yeah, okay. So we can totally do this. Uh, and I don't think we introduce any more dependencies. Oh, we already dependent on DOM, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We can do this. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a good idea because <laughs> it makes the thing more powerful. Support servant reflex. Don't build a blah blah blah. No, what we're gonna do is just uh, get rid of this. And use the pre-render thing. How do they even build this then? Oh, this is shell. Gonna get all these functions. Sure. Wouldn't that be like a thing to do by default? Not. I'm saying like, okay. I only care about you if you are in JavaScript land and if you're on server land, ignore me, please. And that's what you expect from reload on response. What did I do double constraints? Scope pre render. Now we need to put it in scope. We'll just quickly check if this builds, and if that's the case, we can just update our uh, dependency. One more argument refresh support EM. It's a good point. EMGS. And this is fine to uh, remain in modern JSM because it's the only thing they can do. I can give you an uh it wants to have a event actual type dynamic. I doesn't even think of that shit. But no, um we're just gonna give it uh never. Pure never. And yeah, the event never basically is you know, never happens. The best event. We know it's never gonna happen because yeah, I see now why we we are doing it like this because now we can decide for each case that it should never happen. 
for example. Yeah, this makes sense. You're never. Oh, we didn't build. So used to follow watch. <laughs> what is this? dynamic oh we didn't do it here point three man Client. What's oh, a type? Good. I was afraid it would be a new type, but it's returning dynamic now. Oh, you can switch then. That's fine. Um, this is gonna do like um, Just an event, we can switch time to get rid of um, dynamic around it. Yeah, this will be fine. It's kind of annoying. We have to deal with the dynamic everywhere. Getting an A out, getting an A out, putting it into dynamic M, L. I also need to switch it in here. Sixty-five. Huh. Reload response. Could not reduce. Pre-render JS P M zero arising for reload response. Fresh support TMGS. What is this? M zero is untouchable. Remove point three stuff. Make things easier. <laughs> oh, it builds. Nice. <laughs> Possibly broken API depends fields for practice. That's fine. I don't know what it means, but that's fine.
But yeah, um, this replaces all of the uh, XHR requests we make with nothing. Never. We're never gonna execute these requests. We're just gonna be like. Terrible commit. Wait, we're gonna amend that. Whatever, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> what is public though? Oh, whatever. It's out now. I had to leave for a sec. How's it going? So, um, we, um, we're doing a request now, a XHR request, and we're um, making sure that we can swap them out with uh, pre render. So we changed the type of refresh support to be pre-render. Every time we uh, do this on the server side, we're just not gonna do any of these requests and returning never. Now think about like I, I see your point that you should do this like this, because <laughs> how would it know to not execute a request like this? Wouldn't just crash and burn. Yeah. But uh, I need to update the package. So let's see. Mm. We have it. <laughs> We don't have the type. I don't want to have the type. I don't think I have it. Ah. Relation is better now. Yeah. <laughs> I asked you actually about it, but you were away. So I was like, maybe it's horrible. Yeah, five seconds is normal, right? It's like, do me. Is it better now? <laughs> Is anyone? Um, so I have this uh, pull request open for server servant reflex, but uh, the guy's really busy, so it takes ages to look at that. Yes, but that's fine. Can't really do anything about it. You guys now are gonna ask for refresh support, which is basically pre-render. Uh, became a lot simpler too, that's nice. So yeah, now you see my laptop being slow and I'm gonna press the other laptop again because maybe I can make that work and we'll have faster builds. But uh, I wouldn't bet on it. 
like I need to have the screen working and I also need to get into grub but I don't know which keys to get into like the bios I mean I think it's like f11 or something but yeah if the screen doesn't work I'm uh, I can't do anything 11 and the screen works like once every 100 times Come on, man. There are those people that start complain uh, if the build takes time to charge it. Man, this is slow. We need optimal. Yeah, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to get this laptop to work, but yeah. I think I need to wait until the big screen is back, then I can. Uh... If the big screen is back, then I can attach it to the laptop and use it as input. Or maybe I can, like steal one from another place that's actually a good idea maybe there are like extra screens available and i can just like borrow it for a while just to get it booting because so i nuked my boot boot drive uh but the uh, the pre-render stuff like the servant client stuff that is that is cached with nix so that shouldn't take too long and that's also a reason why i want to open source a bunch of shit because then uh, my build times will speed up but unfortunately now it has to recompile common again so uh, and that's because the dependencies change, so it doesn't know how to link everything anymore. So it just throws away the entire cache. Which is unfortunate. But uh, I don't know. I want to get the good one. <laughs> the other one is really fast though. Like, I, I really noticed the difference once I got on it. I think it's like twice, twice, three times as fast or something. Ridiculous. It's also because like OBS is not running on it. That's better. Come on! Like, if the screen just works once, then everything will be fixed. Well, maybe twice because I've mucked up last time too. It, it worked once and I, I didn't get into the BIOS. And once you miss BIOS, then everything is fucked. Maybe you could do it blind. No, I don't think so. Stealing a screen. Maybe I'll do that. Mm. Client. Could not find module response. But. Response? Do you care about response? I don't like using laptops. Yeah, fair point. You make things a lot faster. So unfortunately, I think uh, I need to fix even more compile errors because uh, we had a bit of discussion about how this should work, and I changed stuff based on his suggestions. But that can also break stuff now. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, I should buy a PC actually. That's a good point. But uh, I have other concerns right now. I can't. Like I can, but it would be annoying. Oh no, I killed it. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. So it has to recompile everything again. <laughs> no, not everything, only the comment. It still takes like two minutes. So. I'm sorry I wasted two minutes of your time. Uh, maybe I should like read a story or something. I don't know. Um, I can tell you that the laptop is also not... Uh, it's rebellious. Okay. But um, I probably should look at how how this is different then. Yeah, PC is a good idea. Uh, where did I do? 
So they gave the idea of the keyboard and of the sky bro. I, I really like the keyboard ID too. I can send like this. I don't like don't like using laptops. Well oh, oh I already read that I think. Yeah. Because of the keys popping up. I get confused. Um. Hmm. Built on response. I defend. I is for a error is the code error. Oh my god, what the f Point three, man, point three. <laughs> Don't you understand? It's 4xx error. Rack request. We changed this, I think. Bot error. And so now it needs to also compile the backend stuff to satisfy itself, basically. But uh, we can we can fix this stuff right now. And the first thing we need to do is add JS everywhere because we couldn't do the for all thing, unfortunately. There are a lot of places where this is required. Oh no! Yeah, we, we're gonna craft the spell again. Refresh report. This should have fixed that. Short key for this. Hello, Fubarius. Just waiting for compilers. Something too many of us have to do. Do the backhand again? <laughs> oh, it needs to do the for all stuff, right? Let me just delete that, I think. Oh no, this is the client stuff, right? So. This uh, stuff is a bit magical because we're pulling out um, reflex clients or a servant clients, I mean, into reflex. And reflex has a bunch of um, what do you call it, uh, MTL type stuff going on. So it's a bit hard to do, and we need all these. <laughs> we need a vacuity too, otherwise it doesn't work. And we need like the no monomorphism restriction, of course. Uh, virtual. Oh well, yeah, you need to do a bunch of shit. Yeah. And we also need to have scope. Actually, it's a lot less uh, scary now, but it used to be pretty scary. When I was started with this. Like, what's going on? What are all these extensions? Yeah. 
go build me another one, man. Yeah, I want to have another laptop. Just give it another try. Maybe it works this time. Maybe you should close and open it or something. I don't know. Just let it cool down. Starting to hate levels too. Laptops. Alright. Client compiled! Hooray! So now we get all this other stuff. Um, not to do this more than whole TM arising from log event. In client. We can just pre render this too, right? Reload handler. Oh, this is the same thing basically, but uh, different. Pre render pure never. Maybe she doesn't log if we, uh, no. We just trust this works. Official way of doing this. I wanna have the fast one. Let's try it again. I open it up, I press the button, and the screen is... Hey, it's it's working. Okay, awesome. Uh, I felt like that. Oh, uh, uh, if you if you if you if you, if you feel louder, reboot it into firmware interface. Um, um, uh, if you default loader, no, 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 that's the other one. Reboot into firmware interface. Yes. Okay, we have progress, man. So, um, remember when I talked about progress? I lied. The scope switch time, no. Aren't they F mapping into it? Oh, you just don't know about switch time, right? It's reflex, right? Did I misspell it? Yeah. Right, so now we're getting someplace. Uh, 
We fixed basically all the requests, I believe. No, we don't. We didn't. And it sucks. What? SGS context performable and so we still need to do that then with the day state. In this case it's pretty trivial, right? the same thing again we should like even make a function for this or something on the deck a spell okay. pre-render pure never I want to scope pre render. Perfect module. Wait, what? I was in the wrong one anyway, but.
We can't find that. Uh, reflex storm helpers. No. We don't know about reflex dawn. Core. Why? It's not a reflex dawn or something. What is it? doesn't exist in the old one. Yeah, I need to add a new one. Peace and touchable. What does it mean, peace and touchable? support T and dynamic and the event outcomes and event T rest but you're saying that B0 is untouchable because Inside the constraint, we then the client constraints. There exists, found by the expected. We then the client constraint. Client M. <laughs> client M event T. You don't know about B. Okay, just gonna lift this out uh, in explicit type signature, maybe. There's no content, right? What are you complaining about? Or maybe it wants to know before that or something. We need some ambiguity? I don't know. Make like a widget out of all of these things, but how?
Like I was, what I was hoping for was that I could just get rid of uh, the pre-render stuff in here, in a client. But it's getting pushed out um, for some reason. It knows. SJS context performable and Like, I want to look at the pre render one. Alright. Pre render client constraints. Pre render base constraint. Right, so this isn't the hydration stuff only. So you're putting it constrained? No, not really, right? It's not even a client constraint. And only in this scope, right? I think. I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> as long as you pre-render this. Yes. Right, as long as you pre-render this, you can do this. You can provide me with this. I think that's the better way of looking at it. What's the client then? Associate the type client. Mm. Will you see a successful compile today? Needs client M0. Um, I'm like thinking, uh, this is, uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna, like, I don't think I'm gonna finish this today, <laughs> but, um, like we're getting somewhere, right? Like we figured out that, um, yeah, we need to do this at the call sites, but now I'm thinking like, okay, this is still pushing out the pre-render stuff. And I'm like, how do I prevent it from doing that? Like I want to keep the pre-render stuff all localized to these functions here in the client because I know what I want to do with them on the static stuff and I know what I want to do with them with, on the um, on the GTS like in GTS we're going to execute and on the on the static rendering we're just going to ignore it and I think I figured that part out except like it's not behaving as I'm expected because I was expecting that this refresh support thing would allow us to uh, just put it directly into here, but it says we can't do that. It still has this JS context constraint from somewhere, and I was looking where is this coming from? 
You need a client M, Z, M unit action with implementation constraint. Yes, I get like that's the the implementing constraint is um, that's like uh, your license, right? You can do execute the the J, JS DOM stuff in here, because it's a pre-render base constraint, so that has all this stuff. But what I, what I was thinking was like, is this constraint also on the M outside M, or is it just localized? Client M. No, it's a type application. Yeah, look at that. So it's not the same M, it's being applied. <laughs> That's clever. Yeah, it depends on type of client M. What's your client M type? Do you know like uh... a... <laughs> Way to figure that out. <laughs> so, yeah, same name for type family. Yeah. yeah, I've dealt with type families with the translation stuff, right? But um, I'm not sure how to get the how to figure out what this M is. In my case, maybe we should just assign it to char. That's probably the way to do it. <laughs> this is the best way I, 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 I know to figure out types. Just make it char. <laughs> and it's really not liking this. Well, there you have it, M0. SJS. Yeah, Maybe your M should implement has to. Yeah, like we did at the start. Remember that? We did it at the beginning. And then uh, I had a little discussion with... Um, well, he's gone now, but... Uh, what is it? Uh, Lumi, right? Like instant stock for perform M. Like, this is why I try to avoid polymorphism, because it just makes things so confusing <laughs> and like hard to figure out. Perform M, let's see. Performable M, that's the one you mean, right? Oh, it's another associated type, so that's, that's fun. <laughs> hey, go figure this one out. Like, it's self-recursive monad. Fuck man, in the restriction. Don't be serious. But how did you even? It means the type performable M should be a monad. Type performable M. No, it means result. This type application needs to be a monad too. Yeah, that's the type of performable M should be a monad. So, thing coming out here should also be a monad. Right, I get it. It's late. I'm getting bad at this. The constraint on the associated type. Right, yeah. Rising from the used bit day status. Alright, so my common sense thing says I can just uh, pre render this again and it will work. Um, 
just I'm uh, gonna try this in a well let's try let's try just making this a widget like all this stuff uh, <laughs> that makes no sense but quit this status let's see what what happens if we make this a widget I'm not sure if this can probably not scope that just goes like I'm not sure why the pre-render stuff is also maybe just misunderstood. I think I also updated the pull request, but that's fine. I'm not gonna see it anyway, so. Yeah, just stop. Pre render, support, servant, reflex. This is probably the problem. Support, servant, reflex. I bet this is the problem. It's it's like haunting me, man. I'm like an authority on reflex for some reason. Uh. Right, one blog post. One blog post. Actually, three. But... Yeah, look at this. This is why we're bleeding. So we just need to get rid of this one, and then everything will be okay. And um, yeah. So if you want to do this shit, we're just gonna use pre-render because uh, pre-render supports servant reflex, like in the in the constraint thing through the type application, right? That's actually like, I'm gonna remember the trick, uh, which we saw in the pre-render class, because it's really good. <laughs> it's like nesting a more constrained monad inside a more flexible monad. It's clever, right? Complaints that this constraint is not satisfiable with the form of ends or either add it there, here, or use concrete types. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just hack a servant reflex again into a submission basically because this is this is better like it's just eh, maybe it's not better yeah it is <laughs> well you we need to see if it compiles first actually before i'm getting to greedy uh, don't trust your own code. It's the first law of uh, programming, right? Rule number one of programming, don't trust your own code. The rule number two of programming, don't trust your own code. Rule number three of programming, PHP is the best language. Uh, but I'm really getting tired, like you see me make mistakes all over the place. Yeah, so either add it here or use concrete types. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna use concrete types because Reflex really doesn't like concrete types. As in, I didn't understand the, like the examples are all with the polymorphic shit. So, I mean if you want to do Reflex you have to do this polymorphic stuff. I mean, I learned a lot of it, but yeah. Okay. That's a fair question. <laughs> but, uh, don't. Well.
duplicative M. Are we really going to... Doesn't pre-render give anything? Like, is it just... Oh my god. Okay, we can do like Dom Builder, I think. Yeah, let's do Dom Builder. So this is like a super general monad thing actually and then you have this incredibly constrained monad thing inside it. Isn't that awesome? I mean it's a good trick. Through the magic of type families. Like, it's so general that this is not even a monad. <laughs> yeah, that is a monad inside. <laughs> not even applicative. Uh, oh, I was just looking for the module. I'm an idiot. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired, man. I'm just tired. I know stuff sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And people say servant is too com to servant isn't that complex though. It's just some type level uh, combination shit, right? Like just add all these constraints and prop. But the problem is, I'm trying to use that render static thing, and that render static thing doesn't like. Um, Mona JSM, right? And I, when I was implementing it before, Lumi brought up the point that, like, the way I was hacking around it, what I was doing, like, what you're suggesting right now, is that, um, shouldn't be able to execute that JavaScript kind of stuff, like, these requests, XHR requests, shouldn't be able to be executed, uh, while rendering static code. And if you get out a value that, that, and on which the rendering depends, then you run into troubles, right? So I try to avoid that by just basically doing this nitty gritty stuff and going inside of it. But yes, I tried it to do what you suggesting at first. That's why I was like dealing with the uh, reference and mvars and ref cell or whatever. It was just an execution env environment for JavaScript and the FFI layer. It builds! Hooray! Okay. Progress was made. Run it. <laughs> yeah, this is still not gonna uh, like this. That 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 was like a library, right, on the side. This is <laughs> different reflex thing I made, or like uh, I forked this and I made some. Well, I made some shit to <laughs> talking about. Like people say, servant is complicated. I'm using servant and reflex, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit insane, maybe. <laughs> Anyway, so this thing um, allows you to have unstable APIs. It, it'll make sure that every time it detects that you got like a client error, it will reload the API automatically. But that you all, will always be uh, having the updated version of the API. And this gives me a lot of freedom, right? I can just like do whatever I want with the API now. So it's like... Uh, And what I found out when I was like testing this stuff out is that 
lots of people end up with still code on their phones, for example, or on their uh, devices. And if you don't do this, then you need to be really disciplined or just do this. So I would recommend this kind of approach to more people if they do anything with APIs at all. Mm. Did I push? I think I pushed. Renity says. The output is going to be really boring too. It's just uh, the, H uh, the HTML, right? <laughs> like it's, it's not even integrated into the thing. Uh, and now we have to rebuild everything again. Hooray! And I'm going to fuck around with the laptop again. <sighs> I hate you, laptop. Respect my authority. Maybe we can get into BIOS directly. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna see a successful build today, because uh, <laughs> this is not going as far. But maybe we fix all the API stuff. That would be like a really big win. Or maybe we didn't. Who knows? Okay, the laptop is like pretty broken. I think it's actually something wrong with the video card itself, but uh, yeah. So that's my day. My laptop died. Well, yesterday and more. I kicked the power out. It has been running for uh, I think like five months or something straight up because I just couldn't do the rebooting. And um, yeah, now it finally lost power, and I need to figure out how to make it boot again. Because I broke the boot partition too. Because of this corruption. Can you imagine that? This corruption. Horrible. I used to think like, I never get this corruption. What are people talking about? But I just didn't know how to detect it. And now I know. Now I'm cursed. Run it, he says. I wish I could run it. So yeah, this is gonna take a while, unfortunately. I'm gonna make more attempts because I have time. Yay. Come on, man. Staring at compile errors all day. Yes, we're failing. Look at that, this is another place. So we're, we're getting... Oh! Oh, the laptop is working! Hooray! <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, is this grub? Can I like... Um... Crap, I don't know what to do about that. Um, let's, let's focus on this first. So... Yeah, we have another error. That's good. It's progress. Um... I have no idea why the other shit is working. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this like wrapping the function or something? No, it's just apparently fine with it? Okay, whatever. Uh, so, like, I think definitely for the laptop, the screen closing helps for some reason. 
hardware problem, probably. But I don't understand it. My nemesis hardware. Yeah. Monet IO. Not to do Monet IO. So, can I do Monet IO? Probably. Yeah, it was IO, right? We could do it totally IO. Maybe you should also make pre render from log. Just fucking ignore it for pre-rendering. Anyway, this is by the way beautiful. <laughs> yeah, let's also make this pre-render. And just add more conditionals. Monadio. I think we can just add Monadio. Yeah, it's already here, so do it. So we're probably pretty close now. Like I, I, I remember having a few other places with modern JSM, uh, maybe like two. Uh, so if I reboot into firmware interface, I'm probably gonna get fucked. I'm not in AFI now. How would I get to the BIOS? Does anyone know? I'm just gonna try it again. Okay, whatever. get lucky all right oh i think i got lucky hooray okay i need to boot from the other disc then yeah i need to reboot again <laughs> need to get lucky three times uh twice back to back let's see yeah you need to go up All right, I see. FOS 40 Pro. So that's like my backup system. Okay, we're gonna fix that too. Yeah, this is um, Servant and uh, not using Servant Generic. So actually there, I, I should write about this too because the Servant Generic package uh, pretty This is like the way you should do Servant, but uh, nobody has written about it or uh, it doesn't exist or whatever. And this is basically um, allows you to uh, use data like records to uh, specify your API and you'll get like very precise error messages by using this. But it's a bit of a pain to get into this. Um, and if you don't do this, you'll, you'll end up with like this. It's like saying, uh, this is probably because I don't have the more net. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what we need for to do this. I think I'm just gonna do the perform. Uh, what it what was it? like? Um, we're gonna make steps basically. We're gonna step it out by hand. Used to take very long to compile and run out of memory. Really? I haven't had any problems with that. I would expect the generic implementation to be fast, actually. I wouldn't know why it's slow. But uh, it's upstream in Servant now, right? Like, it's in Servant itself. So, I presume they have fixed it. Hey, the other laptop is also booting. That's sort of great. <laughs> well, hi, am I showing up? <laughs> and by the way, like, I wrote one blog post about this. You shouldn't... Well, you can ask ask all your servant questions to me, and I'll I'll, I'll like 
shiver and don't know how to reply. So it's inside servant itself now. I think it's like pretty good at this point. Right, let's see. Um, I need to perform some spells to make the other laptop work. Maybe I'll do that after the stream. But that's a better idea. Because I have the running now, so it should be fine. Yeah. Let's fix this. I think if I can fix this. Um, we're gonna step this, this shit out. It'll be fine. So let's see, it's um it doesn't care that um what's clients. So the what clients, what is odd client? Right. So that's I would expect this thing to be a problem. Perform event. the clients. It's the wrong side though. <laughs> it's the wrong side of the equals, I mean. I would expect this to be erroneous. Client with opt. Let's look at that. Uh... I think the only reason they put it on hackish was because I was complaining about it. <laughs> Let's see, has client, blah blah blah. Oh, maybe they don't care. Client. What is a client? <sighs> it's servant. You need to be a monad, and you need to support reflex servant. Yeah, that's a problem, right? So, um, actually, <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So, that's why it's before the equals. Um, the This thing doesn't care about the monad at all, it's just like walking the type level shit. And then uh, out comes the client, and the client puts on the restriction for um, need to support... You need to support servant reflex. Support servant reflex. Path constraint to see what happens. No, it's it's just gonna like it's gonna walk to these these er erroneous um like it uh, wants to have this anyway. We can't have this. We can have all this other shit, but we can't have the monogy seven one. I think I can do a... I can modify the monad maybe. I think they give a lot of uh, freedom. No, it's the same, right? It's M, M. 
has to be the same. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, I can do it. I suppose like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it will, will just break. With the Mona JSM stuff. It's on air all the things. Public, public clients. Right, I did it. I'm doing it in there. Okay. Do the rendering here, right? I can program. Um, it's actually a fraction or something. We need to add a um, bunch of const. My const reservation. Const const. Here never. How about that? We're just stubbing everything out. That's fine. We're not expecting any communication in this case anyway, so. Now it should build uh, public clients with a uh, proper monad. Const, const. Uh, Const, 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 const. Right. I'm pure. Pure const, const. Maybe it's a. Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe it's. Maybe it's not pure though. Maybe it's a. Uh, this. It to be a function. So did we fix public lines? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Can I search in a terminal? Oh, I need to fix that dying thing too then. Right, so... I'm not sure what a good a good way to to do this is.
look at the signature for pre-render again. <sighs> Doesn't even find it. It's so annoying. Um, reflex don't core. And pre-render. Yeah, but it will be wrapped inside the M, so... Trying to see what happens, he says. Oh, I mean, I don't really wanna. Or whatever. Do it. <laughs> it's gonna end up with like Mona JSM, probably. At least, at least if I understand correctly. The other laptop is working now as well, that's nice. Right, I can just echo that now. <laughs> I need to like look up the post actually. I don't know how to install Nixos at all. But uh, I know someone who does, does my website. Got uh, extension, partitioning, partitioning, encryption. Yes. Wait. Trigger event T. This is gonna be uh, all that stuff, right? Trigger event, perform event, has web view, performable M, Mon JSM, performable M. It's the same, I think. I don't want that. Well, maybe, maybe I do. Like, maybe I should just get the reflex support in these things, and then, um, like, just uh, make separate functions for them that step them out for pre-rendering. That's probably the proper way to handle this. So we're just gonna, yeah, let's do that. I don't know how to do it else. Like, I don't know any clean way of doing this. So we're just gonna. Add more code. That's fine because we get a lot of stuff back in, in return for this. Like we'll we'll be able to use these throughout the entire code base without having to worry about um, uh, uh, service side rendering, right? I wonder if there's a function to just modify its monad. But for now. Of course, reflex. Of course, certain reflex. Is this gonna replace it the entire module for now? Figure out how to. Uh... Reflex support.
Maybe he does both. Right, uh, we need to delete the JS stuff. Seems like yeah. Status a widget. Yeah, we could take. <laughs> oh, I tried figuring uh, out if that worked, it didn't uh, because the error was somewhere else. Um, So does anyone know if there is a spell available to just modify the final monad? Just apply a natural transf transformation uh, of the result of a function. So the one in positive position. Probably not going to find anything to do with that. This natural transformations. That's some random shit. It's way too specific question. But uh <laughs> apply function to the result of function as go. No, no. Data function. What's that? You don't support servant feedback stuff. Question. Could not deduce pre-rendered JS. Right. But this is again, everything is broken. Okay. Um. 
Um, But by the inferred type for us. T tender, yeah. TM. And to get rid of. Are you gonna see any builds? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> um, I need to fix the individual functions. I need to give them both refresh support and su support reflex. And I'm just gonna go over all of the functions and F map into them. And then once I've F mapped into them, I'm just gonna use the pre render shit to fix them both. And then everything should be fine. Give me a fucking pain. Uh. Let's just replace then um, support servant reflex with a. Uh, Support servant reflex. They they don't. These don't need it. Apparently. But. I don't even need to upstream any of this. this. Then, because I'm just gonna uh, modify all the functions. Can I do this like um, apply function to the final argument or the, the, the result of all of the functions? Uh, let's go. They just end up with this crap. Google finds shit for me, man. Why aren't you Haskell function? And it's just like talking about general function and part partial application and stuff like that. But that's not what I'm asking for. I'm asking for a very specific thing. You with a function result. Mm. Read it, man. Essentially, infix type operator it gives two types and types. Three selections. Let's go for plus three. So oh, is. I think five. Using. In other words. It mentions to you is reader, right? One of the reader. Wait. 
Dictionary is also a monad. From. Really? I didn't know that. I thought it was only real. Oh, that makes actually. Monad. Monad. Arrow, yeah, it is. Type to type. Well, what is function error then? Can, can I like look it up? It's like foldable, traversable. <laughs> it would be great if it's foldable. I doubt it. Maybe it's traversable though. We should make an instance for function error to be traversable. <laughs> it's a great idea. It's traversable for proxy. Bert, do that. Tuple is traversable, okay. I don't know. No function it takes act type in this. So Great, we're just gonna replace the and figure it out. Like we'll just, we're gonna do the dumb way. We're gonna do it case by case and it will be amazing. I need to replace this all. I have to you just replace support. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do this at all. I'm just gonna push the other one upstream again. I'm gonna refer it. That's a great idea. So we did stuff in here, and now we're gonna reset it. Reload on error. That's bullshit. I'm not gonna do this. So yeah, let's refer it then. Because I don't want to lose it actually. But uh, whatever. Okay, now let's. Uh, let's now we need to do Crabbleton next again. <sighs> yeah, we can do this, we can do this, okay? We'll get through it. We'll have a compilation today. For sure, maybe. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna do this. Like, I believe. Do you believe? We all believe. We do it, chat. Ages. And I'm gonna work on the other laptop. It would be nice to have that fast. Hey man! Wake up! Grab a bruiser, put up a little makeup. 
I discuss with you in the shake-up. You wanted to. Here you come create another fable. You wanted to. I don't know, the screen is just broken, man. It's like... It doesn't come out of standby. Amazing. I think it's a harder problem. Oh, went on standby. Oh, interesting. <laughs> wow, it is. Move the screen a lot, and it will work again or something. Mm -hmm. Weird. Weird. Why are people watching? Hello people! I'm uh, having issues with Haskell. So um, I'm trying to like have this um, inner monad be less restricted from the outer monad, which is completely possible through the magic of pre-render in Servant, which is like a great trick you should like, well, I should tell about. Uh, if I can find it. So, server, or, no, it's not servant, it's reflex. I'm lying. Uh, so they put this like, they have this, uh, these constraints, right? And this is uh, putting restrictions on the monad because, but they put it through a um, type family, right? So this monad is not the same as this monad, which means this monad can be way more general. In fact, it's not even a monad, so general this, this is, is, this is, but uh, it comes at the cost that you knew, need to implement this thing to make it work. But I think I still think it's pretty cool. That you can do this. Right, now it's complaining about, uh, not pre-render? No pre-render? Port servant reflex. Right, we need to fix this again. We need to go back in time. To... Reflex support everywhere. So the support has gone back now to being a super restricted one. And we're just going to use a pre-render magic to make it less restricted. So we're going to reduce a uh, pre-render to just support servant no. I lost it. Not to pre-render, right. So we're gonna put the restriction of pre-render. It's pushing it out. Expected kind K zero. Refresh support. Alright, we went all the way back. We don't even have JS anymore. So we need to replace all JS. All of JS. With nothing. I'm gonna do this one. It'll work. And uh, the other letter was still, fortunately. We'd have faster build times if we had it. I should try and make it work again. Maybe it works now. Yes! Yes! This is the magic! Like, I just need to open a closed lid a couple of times and then everything works. That's oh, right. A widget, yeah, we need to get rid of you, man. Nobody likes you. Um, well, you can just go there. Right. 
right. Still not doom. <laughs> yeah, couldn't compile this, damn it. <laughs> I couldn't compile the Lixos module stuff. <laughs> what up, Skybro? Welcome back. Uh, the other laptop uh, is kind of broken right now, so we are ha we're having slow compile times, unfortunately. But uh. Reload handler. Hey, Timmy Toad Tech. How are things? <laughs> Nixos question mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm being a bit extreme about Nixos too, so you know. Uh. Also, no X Monad. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna do X Monad. It's, it seemed interesting, but um, I don't think I have the time right now to invest in a new window manager. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try the Doomline thing. That seems uh, trivial to do. Maybe you should just upgrade or something. But uh, I have uh, bigger issues right now with the other laptop being broken and this build up setup being so slow. <laughs> Welcome to Type Errors, man. If you like Haskell, it makes sense to use x -Monad. You see, like... <laughs> the crux of my problem is not like or dislike, it's more that I'm really overstretched with things. Uh... <laughs> like, my build farm thing also crashed, unfortunately. Which is the biggest issue right now. I really need that. Um, and I'm gonna fix it after the stream, but... Configure your win when you're using Haskell. The dream is real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like... When I was an 8 year old boy, I was always thinking of like... Oh, wouldn't life be better if I could just configure my window manager with Haskell? Why do you like guys like Haskell so much? Uh it's a, for me, it's the quick feedback cy cycle with um, finding out bugs through the type system. Uh, also a fair bit of identity, I suppose. <laughs> like, having a little Haskell cult is also fun. <laughs> fair question, man. What about you, Skybro? Why do you like Haskell? Not to do is pre-render. So probably... My dream was Nixos and Xmonad plus Haskell. After watching this stream, I'm not sure about Nixos. <laughs> hey, yes, if you a lot of trouble, man. That Nix language is pretty terrible. <laughs> uh. I still, I think I still can't switch. I haven't changed it. I've been busy. You know, my um, my big screen also crashed. Don't hack me, by the way. So the thing like that has a lot of space. I like my code when it works. That's why. Well, you know, you can make stuff work in PHP. I've I've made stuff work in PHP. 
It was, it was wonderful. I could like, you know, echo. Pre-render. Also more. <laughs> well, you think this is exciting? <laughs> I've been staring at this like type issue so much all day. <laughs> The TV top deck is like, okay, you guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We are witchers, man. Haven't you ever seen a... Uh, are you still here, by the way? Oh, yeah, you're still here. Like, I'm gonna show you Se Seeker. Uh... It is uh, the mechanism of... You know, seeing the future and the past at the same time. It is... <laughs> Type level has skull. <laughs> but we're not gonna do that today. I don't want to do that. I want to fix this. <laughs> what is this? I fixed this, right? Oh, it still wants to have pre-rent. Here. Wait, what? I just need to add it. Oh, I see, because I'm putting it in right. Right. Yeah, I don't get it at all, but that's... <laughs> Type error are better than runtime errors indeed. Well, like, it's not better, it's just faster. For me at least. Like, you can have a quick feedback cy cycle with runtime errors. I suppose that's also fine. But... I also like the code generation stuff in type level programming, but I'm bad at it, as one can observe right now. Why am I doing this? I should just replace it. Probably. Yeah, I should do lots of things. Let's go. Right, it's because of the for all bullshit. We can just delete. No, we can't. Uh, do. So, this for all stuff is like introducing variables at type level so these things can change and uh it uh, said that we didn't define the variables so it was like upset and you like it's implied usually but if you start talking about it it wants to have it all the lack of null Failure encoded as type, actually useful abstraction, a compiler that lets you do stuff that makes sense. Hmm, that's fair. No, well, there's nil, you know. It's undefined. But, um, we, we all promised to each other that we would uh, be good about that. So there's no nil. Language is the compiler is just in the way.
Yeah, I really like GT. It allows you to... Well, like... What? person to find it, yeah. Get me. Yeah, I need to add it here too. Why did I even do this? Can't pass undefined. I mean, you can't. All oh, right, I see what you mean. No, you can, you can, you can pass undefined. You can do like R undefined. And now I'm just gonna put it in const. How about that? F is uh, a to char. Is const t, and now you can pass it around because, um, like you're one one removed, you're not. Uh, you're not using like you're not directly evaluating it, right? I think you can pass it like this. I'm not sure. Probably, yeah. <laughs> what face? <laughs> Well, it's like you can always add lambda, right? And you can also always add cons to stuff to make it not evaluate. <laughs> it's actually Yoneta, right? This is how they do it at Yoneta. I'm, I'm better. Wait, I shouldn't talk about that because I don't know anything about it. I'm learning about it though. In uh, I'm, I'm Yoneta curious. No, not global. Just First one in the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Comes here because he's curious at Haskell. <laughs> Only sees how to do nil stuff. No, I didn't do the comma. This is gonna be annoying. Variable spaces, that's bad. How about not TM? How about TM space? it up. Maybe not. Looks mucked up. Oh, what? What did you say? The only other types is not close to Haskell as a Scala. The Scala code looks like someone threw up on the monitor. 
Really? Is Scarlet that advanced? Well, he also got like, uh, for example, a camel maybe. No, that's not that advanced. And like that uh, Idris and stuff like that, Akda. The Gorg one. Well, all kinds of stuff, right? But they're not really like... Um, there's no ecosystem in those like little research languages. So... If you want to do something real, you need to use Haskell. Happened. Post team. Oh, I think I. Uh... <laughs> what? F-sharp, yeah. Don't forget about F-sharp. F-star? I don't know about F-star. Oh. Does F-sharp have like cool shit? I think C-sharp was also like some interesting things going on with the... Uh, uh, what is it called? The little language inside, Link? Yeah. I think you can also do a lot of stuff in C++ if you like... Want to get into madness? F star. F sharp is meh. I have never done it. It's F star. <laughs> right. Fort man, praise fort or something. That the uh, saying from um, the Brave New World. Or be praised, something. Pronounce F star as a general purpose functional programming language, which aims to program verification. It puts together automation SMT backend detective verification tool to express power of the proof resistant based on dependent types. After verification, F# -sharp programs can extract it from OCaml. <laughs> Wait, it verifies these pro these 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 other program languages and then gets out another program. Pretty cool. Main ongoing ca cases building a verified drop in replacement of the HP stack. Oh, they're building Servant! Good for them! <laughs> PLR limitations. Yeah, CP templates. Getting you. It's getting content. I'm going to type classes. Yeah. With the template stuff, it's like really hard to do basically anything. <laughs> Like, the, the, it's really hard to grasp the syntax. syntax. The syntax is just a bit confusing. Once you get it working, it's really nice. I wonder if you can build, like, servant in uh, C++ templates. <laughs> That'll be fun. Actually, um, a colleague, uh, or the colleague, like, um, not a colleague, but some guy I met at the meetup, he was uh, saying he was doing uh, functional stuff in C++, and I was like, how does it even work? <laughs> but I think he was getting at, like, code generation with templates, maybe, or something? Hmm. To me, it's all types. Types, types, types. Yeah, this is wrong. I mucked up. Bad. No, I didn't. Oh, right, the comma is uh, gone. For some reason. I'm just 
just forgot it here. That was beautiful and still you start using arrows. <laughs> a warning man, like don't you believe in data validation that it could be an arrow? I still believe. I'm gonna do it, like at some point. Not yet, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm reading the paper. Step by step. This thing is not a monad. Oh no. This is the wrong. They always trick me. I need to add Ascal if I still don't find it. Completely accumulating. Validation is like either, but a type error or a similar to either. However, applicant instance for validation accumulates errors using semi group on error. But it's not a monad because of this. This isn't because such an instance would violate the law that a monad app must be equal to applicative star. But maybe it's an arrow though. Yeah, arrows are like... While I was reading the paper I was thinking, hmm, I've been missing this. Like, uh... Now the idea is you can apply a function to one side, keep the other side intact. I often want to do that. But I don't know how to do it cleanly. Well, maybe do, I do now, but... I'm not sure if I'm ready for it. What is this? Oh right, for A widget. No, but I mean it's probably an arrow, I think. Because it doesn't have the law, right, about app. It's not an error right now, at least. Like, I, don't, I mean, it doesn't have the instance. But I believe we could make one. But I need to check the laws for that. And also, like, how to do it. <laughs> for the bigger part. Okay, we're back to here! Um... Took me one hour to get back to here. But I'm gonna do this in a small. Let's say, get me. How about you just pre render, man? What about that? Huh? Now you can have all this other shit too. Can we get me prime or something? I'm going way too fast, wait. Let's uh, say, okay. We're gonna get the, the event, right? I'm gonna give the event to get me, right? In this case. But, we're also gonna do pre-render. And in case of pre-render, we're just gonna do nothing. And then we're gonna return you. And then we're gonna say, fmap. Which time. And everything's will be alright. So pre-render, in case of pre-render we're gonna do never. We're not gonna do anything in case of pre-render. And in case of GHGS, like we're running in the browser, we're gonna execute get me. And I'm gonna do this for all these functions. And that is how I step out XHR from pre-rendering. At least I say so. Could not deduce reflex T. Hmm. That's a good question. We're just gonna do a uh, dot builder or something. Ooh. Signature. That's not a function. Plus T this layout 
build time settings, lock lock. <laughs> elaborate install plan, elaborate ready plan, build. <laughs> file path, file path, I will build myself. App signature. You're not even like, oh my god, oh this is just, this is destructuring it, oh. <laughs> this is just like uh, doing the pattern matching right here. <laughs> you need to use lenses man, and um, also config objects. Hmm. You're gonna be dumb builder. So if this works, we get a way of just getting rid of all the XHR. It'll be easier to use. Right, so it compiles, right? Um, the get me is gonna be get me prime, and get me is gonna be get me without prime. I'm gonna swap them out. And this is how we got rid of um, uh, refresh support. So we made this more, more net more general. Like are other people seeing this? We made a more restrictive more net more general <laughs> because this has a bunch more constraints, like uh, more JSM, for example. And use stop binds. What? But I used it right. Oh no, I'm doing recursion here. Does anyone know how to uh, apply a function to the final, or uh, like the result of another function? So the thing in positive position, the f the final argument, always this uh, this thing, right? And it may uh, have variable arguments, but I just want to always apply a function to this last thing. Because then I can like automate this stuff. What's it called? Maybe natural transformation or something? I don't know. Maybe I need to do type class stuff for that. Okay, bro is impressed. It is not me, by the way, this is reflex. <laughs> SJS context. Now we're gonna fix you, man. Like, we're fixing you right now. We're gonna get rid of that SJS context because of reflex magic. Yeah. Maybe we should just pick some film spells to make this work. Hmm. hmm. I'm just gonna do it in the accurate way then. I don't know how to do this nicely. No, you're gonna be prime. You're gonna be prime. Can I?
All right, you're just gonna make it empty there. From um, something that returns an event. Whatever. Exponent stream someday, and I'll <laughs> I don't even have those things, right? Like I'm too I'm too small time, man. I need to have 50, I think, for that to work. Six monads three. But I really want to uh, set up my uh, build farm again first. And then, like, we can do that, by the way. Like, I don't think it will be hard to, to set up X monad. Uh, and I can just, like, uh, put it next to i3, right? So it won't be a problem. Yeah, I want to do the natural transformation thing. So, yeah, like I have more multiple window managers. I, I think I also had that. Um, what do you call it? Uh, look at that. I keep forgetting the name. The X X <laughs> this thing. What is it called? My brain is pulp. Alright, this stuff. Yeah, so we're replacing uh, this thing, which will be N as output. Natural. To the end result. X Force, that's the name. I remember. It'll be N and this will be M. Actually we don't really care about the uh, well we do care because we wanna also do that stuff. Kind of care. It's <laughs> even more than natural transformation. No. Yeah, we have to do this. We don't have to do this. I want to. Yeah, we can do that. So, uh, the... could you even call it a natural transformation if you do this? Like. Remains the same, it totally is. But only for events. So we go from M to N. That's the uh, thing we did with reflex magic. And we're just gonna encode this then. Like this. And this compiles. I just say it very loudly and it works. So we have a natural transformation from restricted monad to less restricted monad. Oh, actually, it's the same as lift. <laughs> it's totally possible. Like, I've seen it before. But, uh... What? Why is there an arrow in here? 
Don't be an arrow, be a comma. And the T can be the same, and JS too. Fine. Oh right, we need to do this. Right, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Uh, reflex on client. N is equal to M. Yeah, that's the bridge, right? So that's the, the type family thing they used to make sure. I want to show it, but I can't find anything anymore. I think I'm, uh, by the way, gonna quit at 12. Because, uh, I need to have a break. <laughs> Ambiguous occurrence client. Right, so yeah, you need to be reflexed on client then. By the way, bend that annoying bot. <laughs> We're sinking into GTTs again. <laughs> you can. Oh, I had a deja vu just now. All oh, right, we need to put the same restriction on that stuff. Uh, basically, uh, pre-render. Ooh, doesn't like it. It also needs to have that. Why do I need to have a...
Where's the thing? Re render. Let's look it up. I need it now. This is no restriction on the um, inner one. So let's say that it doesn't have to be like that then. Because then. Just works, right? Speaking of why I like Haskell, I find it very hard to use the language without type plus. Package? Package? HKTs after using Haskell. Most language like. like what is HKT? I kind of type, sorry, I see. Yeah, like it, it's confusing, right? Like why they. Uh, and now, now I'm like used to Haskell, I'm just kind of confused about how these other languages all ended up to be so, you know, empty. <laughs> I kind of type here. No, I need it for a... Uh... And two. I think, uh... Jimmy Top Deck has left us, unfortunately. Or is he still here? No. Good question, though. Why do you like this so much? I mean, I thought a lot about that. Too. Before. I just think it's mostly about the feedback cycle. Just the, the, this this kind of like I know once I finish with these changes, I'll be able to do basically one really hard thing that a lot of other people probably will never accomplish in their own apps. With help of this fast feedback cycle cycle. And then the entire ecosystem is also like, um, it feels natural to talk with other Haskell fans and stuff like that, you know? I mean, I went to a Haskell meetup once and I felt at home. <laughs> it's a bit harder to answer. I would just say, learn it. And it all makes sense. If anyone asks. Yeah. Yeah, but like, it's such a, like, if you say, like, learn it and, and it makes sense, then they have to do a large investment and they're probably not going to do that, right? They, they want to have some, something concrete to hold upon. So to, to have a... Like they want to make a quick adjustment if, if it's worth the investment. Because it's a big investment to learn Haskell, right? For most people at least. What did that do? <laughs> Reflex on client. M. Um. 
transformable reflex to client n. We're just gonna define all the constraints for the one below. Just because we put it in there. It's ridiculous. Oh no, it needs to have more than JSM again. What's your answer? Or Oh, uh, if anyone asks. Yeah, like I just said, the feedback cycle, right? Like, I feel that in Haskell, I just get to develop very quickly and I like, have very... I can do very rapid experiments with stuff. And yeah, like the community totally helped. Right, this doesn't work. Uh, we need to copy over code. That's fine. That's fine. Like, this is going to be an ugly module anyway. We don't care. Uh, yeah. I don't think we can even compose. I'd rather have it, uh, like, we just need to get through this. Stuff. Driven development, yeah. The type holes, I've actually never got into that. I've heard about it. Good. Also, use a language without a REPL now. Hmm. I don't use REPLs though. I think most languages these days have REPLs at least. Like, I think like Clojure has, has it too. And hmm. Actually, uh, uh, I think um, Lumi was Lumi. Lumi was a big um, Clojure fan. Clojure script at least. A big discussion about Reflex, man. <laughs> But uh, oh, OP languages. Hmm. I don't really get OOP. I mean, I used to think I got it, but I think it has become less over time. <laughs> Like, the only answer I have for over, like, why would anyone do this, over OP stuff? It's just like, it's a, just a way of organizing. And that's the only help you get. I don't know how to. <laughs> like I can do imperative for sure, right? Like, uh, but uh, OOP. Just, just like make a lot of diagrams, maybe or something. That's that's a good, 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 good way to start, and then make more diagrams, and then like never do any coding. I think that's the way to do it. I think Echo Hack was uh, doing some OP. Oh, OP. No, no, he was he was doing uh, DevOps stuff. Hmm. 
I'm not like really thinking about this, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if it uh, shines through, but <laughs> there's no bindings for it. But that's fine. We'll fix. It. We'll fix it later. How much is there, like? Uh, jump. Just a uh, copy of. Take some that. Okay. Oh, you need to replace all the stuff inside there. Kind of annoying. Um, let's just copy this into a buffer, maybe. Okay, now we're gonna go down. Yeah. We just delete it inside and then copy it out of buffer, whatever. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Delete inside, copy out of buffer. What's going on? Okay, back. It's really hard to keep track of where I am. Uh, let's see what you're saying. Lozier looks nice, but I like time. Yeah, me too. That's what, like, exactly what I was saying to him. Oh crap, I missed it. <laughs> it's that feedback cycle, man. It's just, you know. And all of that power with type generation and seeker, like, the art of weaving time. I wonder if the stream is a bit delayed again. I get a feeling sometimes. Hmm. Have you seen the world's most beautiful program or something with William Bird? So, why is hilarious? William Bird. We're gonna find out. Lisp video though. Yeah, no, I can I can deal with Lisp, you know, I'm Emacs. I like to pretend I'm good at Emacs. I'm not, but... I do a lot of stuff with Emacs, I just don't know how it works. <laughs> William Bird, let's see. Where did, where's the video then? Do you have a link, maybe? You must... Uh, the world's most beautiful program. You don't have a link because you're saying us something. Right. Scheme. Right. I heard a lot about Scheme. I think uh, Paul Graham was uh, into that, right? Let's see, we, we need to... Um... <laughs> I'm still building. Whoops. <laughs> it was I was trying to build that uh, thing again, the Doom. Let's... Um... Want to see that now or...? I don't have time, like I want to quit uh, soon actually. I'll see it later. Actually, I'll record it. Um, I'll put it in my Twitch thing actually. That's a good idea. That's a good place to put Twitch stuff. Great idea. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now, Skybro. Uh, I've been uh, hacking for a while, so I need to sleep. Maybe I'll uh, get healthy. Watch a few minutes. Okay, sure. I need to get the audio right though. Great. I'm just gonna kill the music. Watch later. Yeah, I'm gonna watch later. So 
ਹੋ ਹੀ ਜਾ ਹੂੰ ਸੀ ਯੂ ਮੈਨ ਸੀ ਯੂ ਲੇਟਰ